15 hopefully mm. unbeaten games, which will be a new record. Flat as the pitch may be, one as the series may be, first test 100, what have you made of Karun Nair and your, perhaps your first look of him? Yeah, a first extended look of him mm. and, and seeing a few games and how he shapes up and goes about his business. He's you know impressive guy. I had a bit of luck yesterday from uh, f with the drop catch. So, um, you know, you need to take those chances. There's guys knocking on the door. Rahane is going to come back in. So it's, it's, it's good to see all the players that have come in and are taking their chances. And that's what you want. You want a bit of competition, healthy competition amongst your batsmen, pushing each other. And, uh, you know, certainly when it comes to, you know, touring other countries, you have plenty of options. And not only here in India, where you've been very successful. And, uh, you know, India have been playing some good cricket, you know, in the last couple of uh, months or year. 17 hopefully mm. unbeaten games, which will be a new record. Now, let's, let's get the insider to go deep into the technical aspect of Karun Nair. What about his game impresses? You know, I, I like the way he handles spin because I think uh, we all talk about how side on this game is or batting is. But uh, when you're playing spin on a turning pitch, it's it's actually good to be slightly open and that's what he has showed because you can then present the full face of the bat. He's been able to do that. Uh, he's a good sweeper of the ball uh, or reverse sweep so it tells you that he's uh, very temperamentally strong because it, he also knows uh, Ronak that this could possibly be his last test innings for a while. So when you know that you're in, under that kind of pressure to come out with your uh, uh, A game and your natural game uh, is what tells you that he's made for this level and that will give him a lot of confidence that he belongs to this space. He will not be in the playing 11 for, for a reasonably long time now. Rahane comes back in, there will be Rohit Sharma and they'll walk into the side before uh, Karun Nair. But he's made a claim and next time India tours overseas, he'll be in that squad. I asked the same question about Parthip Patel and I said he's got a 70 and sometimes yes. Indian batsmen need hundreds. Karun Nair's got 120. If he goes on to get 200, are you going to drop him for the next game because Rohit Sharma is fit or Ajin Karan is back? Uh, I'll ask both of you, would you pick Karun ahead of that? How would you go? There's still time before the next test, but Akash? Okay. I, I'll pick Karan still because uh, uh, he, he's been out because of an injury. He's got eight or nine uh, test mm. centuries. His code runs across the globe. Uh, uh, he had a slightly rough series this one, but yeah. uh, he was uh, phenomenal in the series before that. Uh, so Rahane comes back in straight. Unfortunate for Karun, but he'll have to wait. Uh, but if it is a toss-up between Karun and Rohit Sharma, I'll go with Karun and not oh, that's Rohit. That's interesting. Totti? Well, I think competition is very healthy, but I think you've got to have a bit of loyalty as well to your players that have done well in the past or in the, in the recent past. And I think Rahane is a fantastic player. Plays all the formats. Yes. Um, so you don't want to send, start sending messages if you get injured and somebody else comes in and does well. Uh, you know, there's no sort of room for you. You've you got to breed, I think, a good sort of healthy relationship amongst the players and also the selectors. Um, so I think you've got to have a little bit of loyalty, but also he'll come back in knowing that this guy's mm. knocking on the door. So you might see him raise his game as well, which I think is what would happen.